Kuna cha thamani Kina chokaribia Cha kulinganishwa Wetu maini letu Uwepo wako Mimi ni meonja Upendo halisi Moyo wangu huru Sina aibu tena Uwepo wako Oh help me say Holy Spirit Holy Spirit You are welcome here Come flood this place And fill the atmosphere Your glory God is what our hearts long for To be overcome Your presence, Lord Hey, Your presence, Lord Oh, Your presence, Lord We welcome Your presence, Lord yeah. And fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome Lord, your presence, Lord yeah. Your presence, Lord, be welcome your sweet presence, Lord Tuwe wafa hamibu wa uwepo wako Na tuhisi utukufu wa uzuri wako ipa Na tuhisi
kufuniza ko e mungu wangu the dance oh i see for to go for ni zako mungu wangu let's go oh si for zako baba zangu yesu for zako baba zangu oh si for zako e baba zangu oh si for zako hey oh si for na to go for ni zako With a smile on your face Was it fun now to go for ni zako eh mungu wangu Was it fun to go for ni zako mungu wangu Come on everybody let's go Was it fun zako Baba zangu Kelele na shangwe kwa Yesu Rain 
Hallelujah. Our God is from everlasting to everlasting. We give Him all the praise because He is deserving. every wrong you are always and forever God everybody say your love is higher than the mountain top your strength your strength a river that will never stop that will never stop your mercy your mercy is endless covers every wrong only you can do. Hallelujah. Only you. Only you, God. We worship only you, God.
I can never ever have enough of you Jesus you are more than enough for me I'm waiting on you today I'm waiting on you today Sita to shake her, feel we we use idea to
us away We wait on you, Jesus Come and have your way, God yeah. Worthy of all praise, God Be magnified in this place, oh God be magnified, oh God.
lift me higher. Worship your maker. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Come and have your way, Lord. Come and have your way. Lord, come and take preeminence, O oh God. Come and have your way, O oh God. Come and take over, Jesus. Lord, we surrender to you. We surrender everything, every part of who we are, oh God, that you may come and have your way, Jesus. We give you glory, oh God. Lord, come and have your way, Lord. We surrender, Lord. We surrender everything to you. Jesus, come and have you Jesus come and have your way oh God Lord come and take your place right at the throne of our hearts Jesus we invite you oh God Receive our worship. Receive our worship. 
Receive our worship tonight. Receive our worship tonight. With all of our hearts, we worship you, Jesus. With all of our minds, we worship you, Jesus. Receive our worship. Receive our worship. Come and lift up your song and worship. Receive our worship. You are Yahweh, 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 Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Let's sing it out. You are. Yahweh, you are Yahweh, King of Glory. You are Yahweh, and we bow down. You are Yahweh. Lift it up and say. Alpha and Omega
you are Yahweh. Ooh, Yahweh. Who do we have Yahweh. in heaven? Who do we have in heaven but you, 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 Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh. You are my peace. You are Yahweh. You are my joy. You are Yahweh, you are my rock, you are Yahweh, you're more than enough for me, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. All the voices only. Let's sing it together. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Wherever you are, you can say. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And Omega, yes, you are. You are Yahweh, Alpha, and Omega. I just take this moment and bless the name of Jesus wherever you are. Take this moment and love on your Savior. Take this moment and adore Him. Just lift up your voice and let the sound of worship begin to bubble from deep within you. Lift up your voice and let the sound of worship explode from deep within you. Put on your garment of praise tonight. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Your praise will be. Your praise will be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sing 
Nothing like your presence, Jesus. Nothing like your presence, King of glory. We stand in awe in your wonder of your matchless power. There's nothing like your presence, Jesus. Yes, Lord, all the days of our lives, we want to dwell in your presence, our Father. Nothing compares to your presence, Lord. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence lord all i want is to be with you nothing like your presence lord all i want is to be with you you i want to be with you lord you can you help me say all the one Nothing like the presence of all I want. All I want is to be with There's nothing like the presence of all I want. Want to be in your presence. All I want with you. Want to see you today, Lord. Nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I, I want to worship you, Lord. Lord, I want to worship you, yeah. Put you in your rightful place.
shadows can't deny Your name cannot be overcome Your name is a light forever lifted up Your name cannot be overcome Lift your voice and say Your name is a light For the shadows of the shadows can Your name Can't deny, oh, your 
cannot be, cannot be overcome. Your name, your name, your name is alive forever. Your name, your name cannot be, cannot be overcome. Hallelujah, we bless your name, Jesus, that you're worthy of all our praise, all our worship, and all our adoration, because you are God, and there is none else like you. So we bless you, and we honor you, in Jesus' name, amen, and amen, amen. Kindly turn with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 86, verse 8 to 10. This is what the Bible says. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. There is a declaration in the scriptures that we have read that I want to read again and that is verse 9 and this is what the Bible says. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. I want to give a definition of two words from that declaration and the first word I want to define is the word nations. When the Bible uses the word nations, it refers to people groups. It doesn't just refer to land masses. It refers to people groups. Some Bible translation actually refer to that as families. And then when the Bible talks about worship, it's talking about ascribe worth. It is talking about ascribe glory and honor. It is talking about esteem something to the highest honor, to the highest place, to the highest position. So I can reread that declaration with those definitions that I've given. And this is what the Bible says. Verse 9. All the peoples you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. I want us to ask ourselves this question. Why would God demand that all people groups of the earth worship him? And the first reason is that the existence is an act of his divine providence. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17 and verse 26, that from one man, he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out the appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. Why did God do that? God did this so that they would seek him, though he is not far from them. For in him we live and move and have our being. So God demands that all the peoples of the earth worship him because he is the one who made them and he determined their times and even their boundaries. And you can only seek that thing that you value, that you esteem highly. 
I love what the Bible says in Psalm chapter 24 in verse 1. That the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all who live in it belong to God. That all the people groups in the world belong to God. And if they belong to God, then they deserve to give Him all the worship and all the glory. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16, this is what the Bible says, that the Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all the creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and things on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. I love the fact that all things have been created by Him and for Him. So whether we are talking about people groups, they have been created by God and for God. And so that gets us to a place that all people groups, because they've been created by God and for God, that they get to a place where they worship and adore God. And the second reason as to why God would demand that all people groups worship Him is the fact that God has provided a means by which every nation on the face of the earth can be blessed. Imagine that, that God out of his mercy and grace has provided a means by which all nations on the face of the earth can be blessed. The Bible says um, in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3, this is what the Bible says, I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. That God makes a declaration, a promise to Abraham and he tells him, I have made a providence, I've made a provision, a means by which all the nations of the earth will be blessed. And God shows the seriousness of this because this promise is repeated in Genesis chapter 18 verse 18, Genesis chapter 22 verse 18, Genesis chapter 26 and chap verse 4, and then Genesis chapter 28 verse 14. God is bent to blessing the nations of the earth. He has provided a means by which they can be blessed. I like what the Bible says in Psalms 72 and verse 17 to 18. Just to reiterate that promise that God has made a means by which all the peoples of the earth can be blessed. This is what the Bible says. May the king's name endure forever. May it continue as, as the sun shines. Then all nations will be blessed through him and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous things. That God has prepared a king through his name, whose name all the nations of the earth will be blessed. I love that. That he's such a God of compassion. He's such a God of love. And he's no respect of persons. He's no respect of nations. That he says, I have made a means by which every person, every people, every people group can be blessed. Anyone and everyone can have access to this blessing. And because of that, God demands that all the peoples of the earth would worship him because he has made a way by which they can be blessed. And the third reason as to why God demands that the peoples of the earth would worship him is that God has a plan for all the nations from the beginning to the end. I love that. That in the book of Genesis, God makes a declaration that I have a plan for all the nations of the earth. I want to bless all the peoples of the earth. But again, in the end of the plan of God that is in Revelation, still we find a place for all the peoples of the earth. Kindly turn with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9 to 13. Revelation. Sorry. I'll read it. Revelation. Sorry. Chapter 7, verse 9 to 13. This is what the Bible says. After this, I saw a vast crowd too great to count from every nation and tribe and people and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And what were they saying? And they were shouting, 
with a great role. Salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. That even when God comes to the close of his plan concerning the peoples of the world, that there is still a place for all nations. And that John the Revelator saw this crowd of people that had been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ standing before the throne of God. And what were they doing? They were worshipping and honouring God and saying, salvation belongs to our God. And I love the fact that when the nations declare that salvation belongs to our God, the Bible says the elders and the angels in heaven joined them and declared power, glory, authority belongs to our God forever and ever. May I therefore conclude that the purposes of God concerning all the peoples of the world is that they get to a place where they worship God because He is the King of kings and He is the Lord of lords. That they bring all their honor and all their glory and lay it at the feet of the Lamb who alone is worthy of their praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 15, Revelation chapter 15 verse 3 and 4, I will read. This is what the Bible says. Revelation chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the ages. Who will not fear you, O Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed hallelujah the bible makes a declaration even in revelation that all the nations of the earth will come before god bring their worship bring their glory bring their honor why because god has revealed his wonders his wondrous uh, act to the sons of men the bible says in zephaniah chapter 2 verse 11 this is what the bible says zephaniah chapter 2 verse 11 that then the Lord will be awesome to them when he destroys all the gods of the earth. Distant nations will bow down to him, all of them in their own lands. I love that. That the God of heaven will destroy all the gods of the peoples of the land and allow them to worship and honor God in their own land. That here in Kenya, we can worship God in our own land because we have God who has the power to destroy the gods of our peoples that don't align to the purposes and the will of God. And in whatever, uh, whatever country, whatever land you belong to, that God has the power to destroy all the gods of your people, uh, your people group and allow that people group to worship God in their own land. I want to submit to us the promise of God to all the nations has been fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why do I say that? The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 8 that scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. What was the gospel? That all nations will be blessed through you. That the good news that God announced to Abraham was that all nations would be blessed through you. Abraham. And verse 14, the Bible says, God has redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. And what is this promise of the Spirit? The Bible says in Psalm 32 verse 1 to 2, that blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them and in whose spirit there's no deceit. That the blessedness that God was announcing to Abraham, to all the nations, is the forgiveness of sin. And that the forgiveness of sin can only be given through the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I said in the beginning, that this is open to all the people groups of the world. I want to declare this hour that you can be blessed this very hour by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ because this blessing is open to every people group on the face of the earth. 
And you could be there and you've never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you that this door is open to every person. If you have breath in your lungs, you can put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll partake of this blessedness that is only found in the Lord Jesus Christ because it is only through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ that you and I can be saved. I bless God that it's open to all the people groups of the earth. Are you there and you are saying, yes, I want to take place. I want to partake of that blessing. I want to come in because God has already provided a means by which I can be saved. Irrespective of where you are on the face of the earth. Irrespective of the name of your people group. That God has already uh, given a door by which you can walk into this blessing. If you are there and you are saying, yes, I want to, uh, to partake of this blessing. You can pray this prayer after me. Because the Bible says in Romans 10, uh, in Romans 9, 10 to 13, the Bible says that if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and you confess with your mouth, you will be saved. And that is why we lead people in the sinner's prayer. So if you are there and you want to say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, would you kindly repeat this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, tonight I believe the fact that every people group has been given a means by which they can come. To the blessing of God. I put my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask that you forgive me. You cleanse me. You wash me. And make me the person you want me to be. This hour I declare that I am a child of God. And I celebrate that gift in Jesus. Amen. I also want to pray for people who are feeling like they're at the back of the back. You know we are talking about people groups. And we are human beings and there are certain people groups that have been declared they, like they are not important. And sometimes you could even be feeling like that as an individual. Feeling like you've gone through so much. You feel forgotten. You feel like the Lord does not even consider you. Does anyone hear me? Does anyone know my name anymore? And you could be in that place and you're just feeling like really do I matter? Does my life matter? Does even my people group matter to God? I want to make it very clear that your people group matters to God. But more specifically, you as a person, you matter to God. And so I want to pray over you that hope will arise. I want to pray over you that you will know that God knows you by your name. He has not forgotten. He is concerned, irrespective of what you have gone through in this season, that God is concerned about you. Some of us may even have given up on our nations, on our countries. There are certain things we have prayed and trusted God to do. But those things have not happened. And we could be in that place where we are saying, God, is there hope for my people group? Is there hope for my nation? Is there hope for my country? I want to declare this hour that God has a purpose for every nation on the face of the earth. And that the purposes of God stand from generation to generation. So as I pray, I want to pray that wherever you are, you join me in this prayer to make declarations over your people group. That according to the word of God, they will stand and be all that God has called them. They will get to a place where they will worship God. That they will bring all the glory and all the honor and lay it at the feet of the only God. The only true God. Because that is the purpose of God for our nation. Nations. We are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray, God. I want to pray for that brother, that sister that is feeling and asking themselves, does anyone care? Does anyone know my name anymore? With all that I have gone through, does anyone care? Father, I want to pray that hope will arise. I want to pray that they will know that, God, you have a purpose for them from Genesis to Revelation. That you have a purpose even for their nations, oh God. I pray that, Father, you encourage them to the glory and honor of your name. Father, I want to pray as I declare clear over my country Kenya over my nation Kenya Lord as I join the brothers and sisters as we make declarations over our nation that Lord my God you will defeat the gods of our people groups and that God we will get to a place where we worship you as the king of kings and the Lord of lords because great thou art O God you have made a means for us to come into the blessing of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ and so God we make a declaration that you are God over our nations you are God God over our issues, oh God. You are God even in this situation of COVID-19. That Lord, you are pushing back the forces of darkness to the glory and honor of your name. So we bless you. We honor you and we glorify you. We honor you because you are a good, good father. And now that we know the reason as to why God has demanded that we honor and worship him as people groups. I want to do what the Bible tells us to do in Psalms 47 and verse 1 to verse 2. This is what the Bible says. 
It is a command, it's not a request. The Bible says, clap your hands. All you nations, shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the nations. I want us to give God a shout of praise. I want us to bless the Lord. But before we do that, if you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, kindly get in touch with us on 21210. Send us your name and we would love to walk with you. We would want to give you a Bible. We would want to encourage you on this newfound faith. But now that you have put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and you have understood as to why God demands that we give him due worship as all the people groups of the earth, the earth, I want us to clap our hands. I want us to shout to the Lord with shouts of joy, with shouts of victory. I want us to declare that he is God. He is God and there is none like him. We bless your holy name, O God. We worship you tonight and you are God and there is none like you, Jehovah. We bless you for your loving kindness. We thank you, dear Lord, that you have a plan for every nation, for every country, for every people group. We bless you and we honor you. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's put our hands together. Yeah. With a smile on your face as we celebrate the King of Glory. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. To the side. Yeah. To a inua. Toku inua, toku inua, toku inua. Say. Vita washinda Wepeke wastahili Kuinuli waju Yeah!
Thank you so much for tuning in to this October Worship Night edition. And tonight we are so honored, so privileged to have guests, to have our special guests. And so I'm going to introduce them in a moment. But before we introduce them, just go ahead and bless the Lord one more time, wherever you are. So to my left, your right, we have Riga from Mavuno. We have Pitson, worship pastor, Karura Community Chapel. We have Pastor Mike Manoa from City Lighters Church. We have Minister Alice Kimanzi from Nairobi Chapel. We have Alando from Stories and Songs. We have Gala from Nairobi Chapel. On the keys, our music director. We have John Blaine from Faith Evangelistic Ministries. And now from ICC, we have Steven Wangar on the drums. We have Gloa Maene on the bass. And we have myself. But before I come to myself, we have Flora Weru. We have Destiny Jerry. We have Diana Rose Nyawera. We have Pastor Dulo, Martin Dulo from Nairobi Chapel. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Marks our first countdown to the November One Nation One Worship yeah. event. And we are so excited. So on the comment section, please let us know what you're looking forward to, to One Nation One Worship. And the road to One Nation One Worship officially begins in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's go! Hallelujah. 